Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Rachel Cole. I'm Jonathan McCall. We start this Saturday night with a story that you will only see here on 12 News. Just a few days ago, after a deadly crash that took the lives of three East Valley teens, the mother of the girl behind the wheel of that car now sharing her grief with us. Team 12's Jade Cunningham spoke to the family, the very emotional family, understandably, and tells us what they want to see come from this tragedy. And these are her and her sister when they were babies. Laid out on a table. She was just truly special. She was our hugger. Our memories. She just always wanted to give everybody love. Memories of joy. She was like an angel here on earth. Memories of heartache and pain. And all of the things that we found in the car, including her seatbelt. I'm so sorry to the other parents. I, I just, I don't know. I can't, I don't have the words. <laughs> on Wednesday night, Jennifer Brindle's daughter Hannah was driving with friends on East Guadalupe Road in Mesa when she lost control. They said that she, it, speed was a factor along with the weather, but she never spoke. She was, she was my safest, most calm, like drove like a grandma driver. The car crashed. She tried so hard to save it that it was, the, the roads were so bad and the rain was so bad. Killing Hannah and two others. A fourth person miraculously survived. They had us so far away and there were so many police and so many fire ambulances and, and I could see her car clear down there and flipped upside down and I was just wailing and screaming in the rain. Not my baby, not my baby. Brindle didn't learn about Hannah's death until hours later. In that moment, she didn't want this. She would never have heard them. 16 years of smiles, hugs, memories, gone. There was a canal right right behind where it was, and but the water was on the road and had no way to get to there. And I don't understand why they don't have some sort of cut to where it drains in there. It would have been so simple and it could have saved lives. If that rock wasn't there. I believe they all would be alive. Her grief is too much to bear. She had the cutest giggle. But Brindle is holding on to the memories. Yeah, the last time she hugged me, she hugged me so tight. And I went to kind of move away and she pulled me in closer and she just hugged me for longer than normal. And it's like, it's like she knew. Not ready to say goodbye. There's been so many people that I've talked to that just loved all the kids that were in this. They were all just the best the best of the best kids. Brindle tells me Hannah loved helping people and even after her passing she's doing just that because Hannah's organs were donated to help about 20 other people. Her mother also telling me she's extremely grateful for the support from the community because it's that support that's helping her family through this difficult time. In Phoenix, Jay Cunningham, 12 News. Oh, such a heartbreaking story. Jade, thank you.